What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Dark Lord Siths. Favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the SH Figuarts Darth Vader. Just recently released. A lot of controversy surrounding this guy. Some of it I think is totally deserved. Some of it, not so much. But we're gonna talk about all of it. Before we do, we're gonna talk about accessories. Comes with a number of hands. We have left and right holding hands in addition to the two fist hands we saw in the opening footage. And then we have all sorts of relaxed slash kind of force using hands depending on what you want to do with it and they're all in different styles and variations and I think they're all done pretty well. I like this choking uh, hand specifically here but yeah kind of kind of what you would expect. Um, you know he's Vader's not really an, a character that makes exaggerated gestures so for the limited kind of gestures that he does I think they're pretty well done. You then get his lightsaber, no white rod through the center, just gonna point that out. Forgive the paint on my fingers, I'm working on a Death Star diorama actually, ironically enough. We'll take a look at that today instead of a skit. We have the red translucent over top, we have silver in black. I think black might be the base plastic, but silver paint on it. Sharp, clean, I would have preferred a chrome, but I'm flexible. As for the figure himself, we're gonna start with the two most controversial elements about this guy, okay? One is the head sculpt. Now, I think this head sculpt really depends on angle. It's not perfect, but like I feel like from that angle through the viewfinder anyway, it's a small screen and my eyes aren't getting any better throughout the years, but that looks pretty good. The more you go forward though, the more you start to lose it. I feel like this space here is too exaggerated. It juts out too far and the angle is a bit off. It goes down a bit too much. And I think that's the problem. I think that's ultimately what causes the issue with the look of this. Now, it is that dull black because it's supposed to be, you know, Rogue One, New Hope era. So it's right, even though it's not my favorite. And we have the chain linked cape, which brings us to the second most controversial thing, which is this cape. And this cape is not great. Um, it's not great for it doesn't have the weight to kind of fall down properly. You know, like this is me pulling on it. But if I let it go up, it just doesn't have the weight. I think that they, they have a wire that runs throughout and the wire does go fairly up, but it doesn't peg into anything. However, you know, you can have it kind of blowing in the breeze. It will work. So that's cool. I would have preferred the cape be made of a heavier material so that it would have draped a bit better. I feel like that would have been most appropriate. That's not what they chose. To, to be honest with you, the Black Series cape is probably still my favorite so far. And then the Black Series has this kind of as a soft goods underneath. It has a hilt too, plugs into the side. You get it. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't think it's terrible. You know, and you can get some cool poses out of it and stuff. I just don't think it's great. I think that the sculpt on the eyes is a little bit more, see, it's not working very well here. You gotta kind of have it. They, they've been doing this a lot. They did it with the Batman figure as well. When you have the wire, like if that's what you're using to articulate the cape, which I don't even feel like is necessary, but if that's what you're gonna do, it needs to plug into the figure somewhere so that it can base the weight off of something. The weight right now is based off of this piece into the thigh. That's what's able to blow it out of proportion, but uh, I don't know. It, it's a nice material, it just, Maybe if it would have been double stitched, like, you know, two pieces, like it just doesn't have the weight. I don't know how to say it. And then the pinching of it across the collar looks a little bit like a kid's Halloween costume. Like, with, you know, so that's not great either. But the good news is the rest of it's pretty good. So we have some gunmetal paint on the face. Then we have the silver bolts, two bolts, I'll have you know, Tyler. And uh, the red tintish eyes. They're more of a brown here, but I think it works. It feels like a double ball peg in the head. Limited articulation, but given the character, I think that that's fine. You get a little bit down, a little bit up, side to side, etc. You do have to watch the cape and the chain. It does have a tendency to get in the way. Moving on, we have a double ball peg in the torso. So this is another bit of contention. So in order to give the articulation, they kind of break the sculpt up. Not the best move. You know, I don't feel like we need Vader to be super articulated. So I would have much rather preferred the sculpt be intact. If they wanted to give you this amount of articulation, what they should have done is had a soft goods cloak come down as a second layer cape. So yet another issue. Um, double ball peg in the chest to the abdomen, single from the abdomen into the pelvis. You can get them down to there. You can get them up to there, side to side, 
so on and so forth. Detailing wise, you have the box here, the breathing apparatus, all of it painted clean, sculpted clean, exceptionally done. Same for the kind of lower base of the, the neck guard there. We have gunmetal paints and everything is done crispy and clean. All the sculpt work for all of the like kind of astronaut suit that he wears underneath. All like has it has multiple layers of wrinkles and such. It looks very good. We have the cape, the lower cape, which is attached to this hip piece. This is all, all the plastic is sculpted beautifully and painted beautifully. We do have this piece, which is a little bit cumbersome in terms of articulation, but we'll get there in a minute. We have the shoulder pads. They're on ball pegs, on hinges, connected to the shoulder, which is how they should be. We have nice gunmetal paint on them. We have a ball peg going into the torso, coming out to a disc hinge, I think. Actually, it's kind of a ball hinge, but it lets you get the arm all the way up and around. So no issues there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel, and it's on a ball hinge so you can get in and out. You can swivel it and get up down. Sculpt wise, all the suit astronaut stuff still looks good, and then the gloves look fine. You know, they're they're not there's not that much to the gloves, but they look good. I mean they look accurate. So hands look a little small to me, but I think that's a common thread I seem to have with Vader. All right, so the lower piece, we have the padding piece here, sculpted beautifully once again. We have the hips. I don't know if they're on drop downs or not. They are. Drop down T-jointed ball joints, so you can get the leg all the way out to there. I don't know why you would want to, but you can. And then the soft goods kind of limit the hip articulation. This, the soft goods, I say soft goods, the softer plastic. This should have been soft goods. That would have solved a lot of issues. You do have a thigh swivel built around it. All the sculpting on the plastic on the astronaut suit, once again, is done beautifully. No issues there. Double jointed knee. Not the prettiest, but I don't think it'll bother you. We do have the boots. We have two different finishes here, so that looks nice. And then we have the ankles, which are on double ball pegs, which gets your ankle tilt up to there, down to there, and a toe hinge. So it's a mixed bag. It's really a mixed bag. And I'll, I'll let you be the judge. You can decide on your own. I'm going to give you some final thoughts here in a second. Um, there the figure is from the back. Uh, we'll do some size comparisons. We'll do some final thoughts. We'll look at the diorama in the meantime, okay? So I got, still got to put the railing up and stuff, but there's the diorama. Uh, shout out to Cape Cod John. He hooked me up with a lot of these walls. I got another hookup for the consoles there, but I don't know if he wants his name mentioned. I don't know if he wants people hitting him up. Uh, I got the uh, chair and the window back there from Laird Creations, and then I built the steps and stuff myself. And it's unfortunate I have Thrawn's trophy case back there, but you really can't see it. And I still need to do a little bit of work. I need to add a railing, but pretty effective, and I'm pretty, I'm, you know, I'm pretty, pretty proud of it overall. There he is with the SH Figuarts Luke. Uh, I think that's a great size difference. I think that really works. That is one thing they definitely fixed is the size of this Vader. And there he is with the original Mafex Vader. And side by side, I much prefer the SH Figuarts sculpt, head sculpt to the Mafex. Now I've heard that the newest Mafex is even better, but I, I just didn't get it because I, I was getting this and I just wasn't pressed about it. I do like the, the, the shoulder pads and stuff. I'm not sure which is accurate. Uh, this cape isn't great either. So yeah, I, I really, I have to give it to this one as being the best overall right now, but you know, it's not by much and all of them will do fine. I think the Mafex will do fine. I'm sure that the, Mafex 2.0 will do fine. The Black Series, honestly, still does fine. There's elements I love about the Black Series Vader that I, I don't feel like any of the imports have gotten right, mainly that under tunic. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's it's really, it's kind of like, it's anybody's game, honestly. Final thoughts wise, the issues really come down to choices. There's only one real issue with the guy, and that's the sculpt of the cheek components of the mask. That's the one thing that's like just blatantly off. The rest of it really comes down to preference and sensibility and choice. I think the cape is done poorly because if they wanted to use a wire system, they should have had it plug into the chest so that you could really depend on the wire structure. The cape itself should be heavier. It should fall heavier and have that weight to it. And I personally think that the under robes should have also been made of a soft good to allow for the articulation articulation to come through. And that's really where the issues lie here. And they are issues mainly because 
The engineering is here. All the engineering to make this a very successful action figure is definitely here. The sculpt on 95% of it, minus the cheekbones, is definitely here. It's just some choices that end up getting in its way. So I can't call this one. It's too tricky. There's elements of it that I really like. There's elements of it that I do not. I think there's some upgrades that you could do to it to make it a great Vader, but I'm not sure if you should have to do that at a figure that you're shelling out 50 to 60 bucks for. So I'm gonna leave this one up to you. I can tell you that it is the Vader that it's currently on my display because I think it is kind of the best available all around, but don't think it's the best by a long shot. I think it kind of squeezes by. I had to go to a judge's decision with a photo of the finish line, and that's kind of how I feel. I'm sure a better one will come down the line. Vader is a cash cow. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.